In this video, I'm going to show you how to open up a JPEG file inside of Adobe Camera Raw. Hello everyone, Adam Furtado here and co-founder of PhotoNerdsUnite.com and today I want to talk to you about two files that your camera can produce. Uh, the first file is Adobe Camera Raw and the second file a JPEG file. Now by default your camera will already be set up to uh, capture images in JPEG form. Uh, I highly recommend if you have not ever done so to go into your camera settings and turn your camera option to shoot raw files. In a best case scenario I would actually choose to shoot a raw and a JPEG file that way you actually have both just in case your memory card dies, you could at least preserve the JPEG files, the RAW files you might lose, but at least you'd have both options. The thing to note if you do shoot RAW and JPEG is that you're gonna take up a lot more memory on your memory card, so make sure that you've got backup memory cards. But if you've never worked with a RAW file, uh, you may be a little bit confused as to what to do with the RAW file, and then you might also be concerned as to what the differences are. What is the difference between a RAW file and a JPEG file? The simple way to put this is that a RAW file contains all the information that was captured and the JPEG file is a processed file. If I were to jump into Photoshop here and show you the differences between a RAW file and a JPEG, I've actually have one open here. I shot this exact same image in RAW and then I shot it again in JPEG. And when I bounce between the two, you can see that there is visibly a difference between the two. The raw file looks a little flat and a little boring and that's because this raw file has never been processed. The camera gave me all of the information that's contained in the file. The JPEG file, however, has been altered and the camera did make some adjustments, boosting the contrast, adding a little bit of an exposure bump, probably even sharpening this picture a little bit. So there's clearly some differences between the two. If you're new to this, you may only be shooting in JPEG and therefore you may have hundreds if not thousands of images that you've already shot in a JPEG format. Well, you can still access the Adobe Camera Raw functions inside of Photoshop Elements, even if you have only JPEG files. And that's what I wanna show you today. So let me show you the differences of opening up a raw file and then opening up a JPEG file so that you could see how differently uh, this works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head on over to the editor and I'm gonna first start by opening up a raw file. I'm basically gonna to go to File and choose open and I'm gonna select the raw file. Now, how do I know it's the raw file? I know it's the raw file because it typically has a different file extension on the end of the file name. In this case, because I'm a Canon shooter, I'm getting .cr2 as my raw file format. But if you shoot a Sony camera or a Nikon camera or an Olympus camera or something like that, you're going to have a completely different file extension than I do. But no matter what the file extension is, I'm still going to be taken to the same place. So if I select my raw file and choose open, my raw dialog box will open. And from here, I can make any adjustments that I want using these sliders. So I could bump up my highlights, add a little bit of clarity, fix my shadows and add a little bit of contrast to this photo and voila just like that I've made some adjustments and this picture already looks 10 times better. But if you don't have uh, raw files or you haven't been using raw files then you might want to access the same sliders and you may not know how. So the way that you would do it is you're going to go up to file and choose open. For you it may either be open or it may say open as either one of those will work. You're gonna choose your JPEG file that you wanna open, and then what you need to do is go down to this format option and select Camera Raw. When I select Camera Raw and choose open, even though I started with a JPEG file, I can still access the Adobe Camera Raw dialog box. From here, I could continue to make any adjustments that I wanted. 
I could bump up my highlights, add a little bit of contrast, adjust my shadows, add a little bit of clarity, and there you have it. This picture is already looking much, much better. Now keep in mind that because I'm using a JPEG file to edit here, that information has already been tossed out by the camera. And therefore, when I go in and make further adjustments, I'm adding even more quality loss to this file because it's already been removed some of the information before and now I'm removing even more information now to get this file exactly the way I want it. The camera raw file is gonna give me much more information to play around with and therefore the quality when I'm done with a raw file is gonna look much, much better than what a JPEG file would. So I highly recommend shooting in raw whenever you can but if you haven't been, you can definitely get to this dialog box, which is going to be much easier to use now that you know how to get there. So that's my tip for this week. Hopefully you'll check us out in another episode. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you want to see more of this content as it's released every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, go ahead and hit the subscribe button up top. We love your support, and we'll be here for our next video in a couple days. See you next time.